everyone. Welcome back to the Bonsai Music Movie Crew. I'm hosting this week. I'm Karen. Go around the table. I, I'm Madison. I'm I'm Joseph. <laughs> I'm Eric. <laughs> uh, so uh, we welcome you to uh, check out our TikTok, our Twitter, our Facebook, and of course the YouTube. And Madison went ahead and got us an Instagram started up. So we welcome you to check that out as well. Also Tumblr. 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 We. Yeah, Tumblr, that thing too. That's not, yeah, we didn't put that on the thing either. But yeah, yeah we got a Tumblr now. We have a Tumblr now. Um, please like, comment, and subscribe and share with your friends. Uh, we also have an email if you'd like to contact us that way, the bonsai movie crew at gmail.com, which we're told is very basic. So uh, <laughs> we'd love to hear from you. A bunch of basic bitches. <laughs> <laughs> so now I'm going to go ahead and turn it over to Joseph with uh, news and uh, trailers. Joseph's got some fucking news. Uh, I got a little bit of news. A little bit of news. <laughs> it's always a little bit of news. Little news. I, don't know I only got one thing for news. I try not to. I don't want to overdo it. You know. He says a little bit of no- news, and then it goes on for like goes 20, for like 30 minutes. minutes. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's because we talk a lot. Yeah. We do. We talk. This, you're going to talk about this. I know this. Um. So, uh, HBO Max's Harry Potter seven season TV re- reboot is in the works. Seven season TV reboot. What is why nobody asked for this? What does that even mean? Nobody, so they're going to essentially for a lot of so, things. Okay, so the plan is is they're going to take the books and gonna, they're going to make a season out of every book. Why? Those are movies. I know, right? Right. Yeah, I think the I <laughs> but, think the TV seasons are going kind of like. Oh, people are definitely going to watch it. They're oh definitely well, yeah, I mean, there's, an, gonna, there's an audience for it. I'm going to watch it because I like Harry Potter stuff, but I think the TV seasons should kind of like negate some of the movie stuff, and it's like. I think the thing that will, I think it's going to pull audiences just because it's going to, it's going to dive more into what the books had to offer. Um, but I'll read this to you. It says, according to news reports, it's only a matter of time before the HB, and this isn't, this isn't official yet. So this isn't set in stone. They're just lining, lining it up. It is only a matter of time uh, before the HBO Max Harry Potter reboot is officially confirmed. It's been 12 years since the final movie. In the Harry Potter franchise, Harry Potter and Deathly Hallows Part 2 hit theaters, but Harry, Ron, and Hermione, and the rest of the Hogwarts gang could be making their way back to your screen extremely soon. What? Nothing. Did I do something wrong? Nope. Oh, okay. As noted by Deadline, HBO Max and Warner Bros. are in the talks with HP creator Harry Potter, for any of you people who don't know what HP is, duh. <laughs> uh, J- J.K. Rowling. To create a streaming TV series based on the original books and not a new concept. I used to think J.K. JK Rowling was like a dude until I realized she wasn't. She was well, a, she's a woman. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, she went from living on the streets and collecting food stamps to a millionaire. Just like that. Pretty much overnight. Pretty much, yeah. Uh, Bloomberg reports that each season of the show would detail one of the books in the novel series. Deadline shares that the entire project is still in... It's infancy and not in uh, set not and nothing is concrete yet, but a Harry Potter TV reboot has been on the horizon for the streaming service for years. Back in January 2021, the Hollywood, the mm-hmm. Hollywood Reporter revealed that HBO Max was engaged in meeting to find a writer for the potential series. So it does give me some comfort knowing that J.K. Rowling will be involved. Yeah. Um. I know I saw one TikTok of a guy bitching about it. Saying, oh, man, they're just, they're, all they're going to do is, like, gender swap and, and race swap everybody. And you're going to have a transgender, probably a gay mm. Ron. I'm like, oh, uh, I don't not, know about not that. J.K. Rowling. Yeah, J.K. Yeah, Rowling's yeah. involved. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> she was in a lot of hot water. For yeah, her. she's like, she ain't for that shit. She's going to no. be like, no, yeah. that shit ain't happening on my fucking show. No. <laughs> I, so. think, I think the TV series shouldn't be about the Harry Potter books. I think what they should do is go back and, like, talk about like how Voldemort became. You know what I mean? They could do that. They could do a series like that about Voldemort. Uh I don't know. I just going back to that, that would be cool to see like a series, not just about him, but like about like Snape just, and, yeah. uh, Harry's oh. parents and all that. Be like shit. a prequel about some of the yeah. 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 the beef. Than that, really. Yeah. Instead of yeah. seeing something we've all already seen. You yeah. know what I mean? I mean, because they only touch on it a little bit throughout the series about the parents and, yeah. and all that stuff. 
But you know what? Whatever, man. If like it makes the war, maybe they will like in this. Since they're making it into a show. They might. Maybe like I mean, how the war could. started and all that stuff. I mean, if they're going to cover an entire book over the course of a season, a season at minimum is six to eight episodes. Yeah. yeah. Um. So, I mean, they, they'd have a lot of time to cover some shit if they yeah. wanted to. They really Filling wanted some to. plots. Yeah, because you know each episode is going to be at least an hour long. Oh, yeah, at least. Oh, yeah. So, I don't know, though. I'm just... We just got done watching all the Harry Potter movies, so... <laughs> I'm kind of like, so it's a bad time for you in general to hear this, hear I'm this like, news. I'm good, dude. Like I am so good. <laughs> like maybe if you heard it. it like six months ago, yeah, you'd probably like been six, okay like, with it. No, even just before I started watching the movies, I'd have been like, all right, yeah, that'd be cool. <laughs> you know, that makes me want to watch the movies. You right. know? <laughs> now you're like, fuck that, fuck that, dude. Like I don't want to watch that shit. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's funny. <laughs> Bad timing. Why did I do it timing. now? So I got a couple of trailers for you guys this week. Um, one of them, uh, I'll show you one good one, and then we got two shit bags. So <laughs> I thought we were only going to do in two trailers a week. We were, but I had a trailer lined up already, and then Karen sent me I'm, another one. She's like, "Here, yeah. do this one." I was like, "We'll do both." <laughs> <laughs> Throw it in so, the mix. I'll show you guys the good one first, and then we'll go from there. Uh, has anybody here seen Extraction? F- I have not, but I've been wanting to watch it. The first one? You haven't yeah, seen it? I haven't seen it yet, but I've been wanting okay. to watch it. Okay, well, I'm going to show you the trailer for the second I've one. I've seen the trailer for the second one. I'm I'm very Oh, yeah? Dude, it yet. looks badass. Yeah, it does. I'm like, huh, I want to see that. <laughs> There's that Dad big sexy boyfriend. man. <laughs> okay, I did see this on uh, Facebook, but I scrolled did past you? it. I scrolled past it. I, didn't, I think I, I shared didn't watch it on it. Facebook. Yeah, maybe that's where I saw it. You know, the cinematography in this, if it's like that, it looks badass. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, throw it! Flush bang. I've seen Gray Man in the Avengers movie. I've heard the Gray Man is good. Oh, it is I've good. watched oh, it. Yeah. Kind of. Dude, this motherfucker, you haven't seen the first one yet? Not yet. Oh, dude. You guys gotta watch it. It's on Netflix. It's a badass movie. I plan on watching it. I just haven't gotten to it yet. Is Chris Hemsworth in the first one, yes. too? He's a badass in that, too. You can find my Chris. Why? He starts fucking people off. That was apparently his no but. <laughs> Well done. I really good. like how they shot this trailer. They well, they do that. They have it's a continuous shot scene, like mm-hmm. action scene, and they did it in the first one too. And these guys are known for doing that with these action sequences because this movie and Extraction were directed by stunt coordinators. Okay, that's a very interesting way. I really like it. His arms on fire. You don't care. He's a badass. That's Chris. <laughs> they Hemsworth. hit his no button. Like his, yeah. he's there's nothing. He don't care. Right now, I'm so excited for this. I love, I, dude. I love those, that. The first one was awesome, so I hope the second one is good. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, for anybody who wants to know, obviously that's coming to Netflix. Blah blah blah. Um, let's go ahead and get into those dog <laughs> shitty ones. <laughs> We're gonna do the one that Karen sent me first. Dog shit number two. Dog shit number two. <laughs> <laughs> Smoking causes coughing. I didn't watch this. I've seen it already, so I, okay. I know what this is. <laughs> Just like some bad Power Rangers shit. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's how it was with. described to me, was bad Power Rangers. Well, bad Power Rangers are bad already, so... <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what I said. I loved Power Rangers when I was a kid. Oh my I God. hated the Power Rangers. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> This is better than the Power Rangers. Kind of is. What is that thing? Uh uh-uh. Splinters. Oh my god, look at that guy's fro. It's bad. Yeah, it's Splinter's cracked out cousin. Weird outfits. What the fuck? He just tore that thing's face off. That thing's face off. It's gonna pee on somebody. Who yeah. would I, I knew it. John Waters? What about John Waters? <laughs> he said one of the best movies of the year. Is that oh, what it said? I think so. Yeah. <laughs> I swear to God, I thought that was Robert. Or... Your wife's supper time. Oh my, what? 
What about what? what? Oh. what? <laughs> Did that robot just unalive itself? I think I so. so. <laughs> no, it's so on. It causes coughing. I really kind of want to see that, actually. <laughs> No, I'm at a loss on that one. I, don't think I, I, I didn't. I don't think I'm gonna watch it. I I, I didn't like Power Rangers, uh, but I'll watch that. All right, yeah. this one's uh this one's an oldie, but uh, Is I don't. Mac, Karen's probably seen this one. Mac I don't fucking me. know, but it looks bad. It's got Gary. I'm Mac. waiting for you to pull up one that I have seen, just to be like, God damn, yeah, I've seen this. That doesn't make me a pushover. Archie Channing is a businessman with a ruthless reputation. Hey! 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 Oh. Oh. But all of that <laughs> is about to change. What are we to do with you? He has no redeeming value whatsoever. They won't let me in Hammond. It's too late. It looks so good, doesn't it? They want you to go back. So he's got to be a dog. Isn't this a little yappy dog, too, yeah. huh? See that transition? Like, how bad is that? I know. Oh, well, I, know I would say part of that has to do with the time period in which it was made. Uh, but what, was, what is that? Like, what the fuck? I think they spent all their money on the actors and not the Gary Busey. I bet he wasn't worth much. No, but yeah, there was I'm a few go of them. He that was probably in there. did it for fifty-seven dollars. This is something you have to do. For yourself. <laughs> I just need to pay my electric bill. I just got one chance to make. I don't know this. That dog jumped on her and saved her. And he's about to discover. I feel like it was... The cameras don't look too good on it. Like the cinematography just does not look good at all. No, it looks like some shitty. Even for that time period. That what year was this? Uh, this would have been like 90s at some point in time. I don't know. It might be early 2000s. Mid 90s. Oh, no. There's no way that's early 2000s. I bet. Yeah. No, it's no this way. Like no, uh, 90s maybe. Early nineties. But even with even being that late and he's my very best friend. The camera is my very best friend. Thank you. Thank you, Gary Busey. Quigley. I'm looking it up. What year was that? (laughs) What what year was that shit? Well, whatever year it was, I don't don't think that cinematography that for that is on (laughs) Well, but I'm just saying, like you can't hate too much if What, given the date? I sure the fuck can. Yeah, you can't say it if, it, if, seen if it's in two thousands. Yes, better than that. I've like, seen eighties movies quickly like, with what was that guy's name? Gary, Gary Busey. Busey. Gary Busey. Except I've seen already. 80, I've seen eighties movies with better oh, cinematography shit. than that. Two thousands, huh? Two thousand three. Told you, dude. That was dog shit. Two thousand three. Wow. <laughs> like recorded on. A I'm phone. sitting here going, no, <laughs> it's got to be the nineties from the way it looks. Like it had that. Um, it had that cheesy nineties like. That, that's what I'm saying. That, bullshit. That's why I was going well, like with 90s. Very early yeah. And even the computer film, the computer filming. shit that they were like showing, they kept showing like a well, game on the where computer. The dog ran under his legs, and then the dog ran in front of him. And bef- after that, that was, at- and then by that time, he saw the dog and then decided, oh no, I fell down. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Stupid movie. I never saw that one, no, and I wouldn't watch that one. Yeah, that one, don't. that one's. I wouldn't even... even recommend that to my kids <laughs> or your I, dog. I don't think my kids would be interested. They'd be like. What I'm not this? interested in most of the like kitty movies you try to you try I'm to get about me your into. Brothers, even like you know your seven year old brother. <laughs> w- would you uh, recommend it to your dog? No, I wouldn't no. waste my dog. It was just a joke. It's about a dog. <laughs> I would not waste He'd my dog's time. He'd probably piss on the TV. That was a good joke, Karen. That <laughs> Thank was a you. great joke. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I'm with anyway. you, Joseph. Let's go with uh, what everybody's been watching. What the hell have you been watching? We'll start with you, Madison. Oh, we'll go around. Because I liked your joke. Yeah. I like you tonight. You're my favorite. <laughs> You're my favorite today. Yay. Okay. These two can suck it. <laughs> well, I watched a couple episodes of The Walking Dead. Slowed down on it. Um, I watched a couple episodes of Satiable, but I haven't gotten all the way through that yet. But I started watching Alice in Borderland, which I like it so far. I'm already on episode four. Um, Jane the Virgin, I've already seen it. I watched the first three episodes of it again. Um, I watched John Mulaney, New in Town, because he's funny. I've already seen it, though, so I just watched it. 
and a uh, hell of a boss, which I've also already seen. <laughs> she rewatches a lot of stuff. I, I, I noticed. <laughs> I'm yeah. with you. I do it too. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Joseph? What have you been watching? I didn't watch a lot this week, mostly because uh, well, I watched that new Creed three movie last night. Um, that was pretty. It was pretty good. I was about to say, how was that? It was pretty good. Uh, I would say that Jonathan Majors was probably the best part of the movie because it was very well acted. He did a great job. God, I hope that shit about him ain't true. <laughs> right? <laughs> I really do, man. Uh, but, um, yeah, I think the movie was good. It had a good, uh, like, obviously they had a fight at the end, blah, blah, blah. It was good. It was really good. I'd recommend it. Um, apparently it was the highest grossing, essentially, Rocky series movie, uh, or for their opening weekend or whatever. I think it was the highest grossing. Really? They said. They, it's made the most. <laughs> well, money. I mean, think about the prices for tickets now compared to. What? Well, they include inflation. They, yeah, yeah, they okay. usually adjust for inflation. Yeah, so, but. I can see why. I, I think that the Creed stuff is doing well, even without Rocky in it, because Rocky wasn't in this one. Uh, I didn't miss him. I didn't miss him at all in the movie. So I thought he, I thought the movie was good, just with Michael B. Jordan and, and Jonathan Majors. So, uh, but I watched that, and then we watched Avatar: The Way of Water. I watched half of it, and I went back to my room. Um, that movie, I can see why it made so much goddamn money. That movie was fantastic. Was it? <laughs> it was. It was fan fucking tastic. That movie was visually amazing. Like well, it was the, like, huh? They're both Avatar. The first one was very visually. Oh my god, stunning. dude! Like, well, it's it's this movie's about three hours and fifteen minutes long. Yeah. And yeah, <laughs> but dude, I it did, had my attention. Like, shut up, Karen. Well, I, I can't wait till we have it. to pick it. <laughs> you know, butthurt about it. No, I'm not. But I, I hope I pick it out of the box today. Wait, Avatar. <laughs> Avatar's in there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Are you serious? But dude, don't knock it till you've seen it because I'm I, not knocking I just, it. I'm well, not. One, I just bought a new 4K TV, and I was like, I just got like I bought it, and I hadn't seen Avatar yet. It was like it came out. I was like, we're gonna save it and we'll watch it with the t- new TV. And I was not disappointed. I was so happy. It was so pretty and colorful and vibrant and so clear. Pretties. And <laughs> and the movie itself just looked amazing. Like, dude, you're watching this movie. You know, it's all CG. But it doesn't look CG. It looks real. It does look real. It looks real as fuck. Like, it looks awesome. What about the story? I don't give a fuck about the story. Yeah, that's the problem. It's, it was, the story <laughs> wasn't bad, really. It wasn't. Um, like, the Avatar, the first Avatar movie was essentially... Blue uh, Pocahontas. Blue Pocahontas. Blue Pocahontas, or like Dances with Wolves. Yeah, I was about to say, it's Dances whatever, with Wolves. Whatever, you know, like, whatever. I don't care. Same plot. The, this this one wolves. here kind of follows a little bit of that same premise, only it takes away... It doesn't follow so much of, like, Jake Sully... And, and uh, what's her name? Natari. Yeah. Which is the girl or whatever, his wife. They follow their kid. It follows their kids more than anything, which is really cool because it gives you more, more Depth. of a story, more character development there and something better. You know what I mean? Like you, Jake Sully's a dull character. Yeah. He's a dull, mostly because he's played by Sam Worthington, but he, he's just a dull <laughs> character. And I like Sam Worthington too. So that's, I know it sucks, but he, he's not a, he's not a, he's a very one note actor. <laughs> But I just I just think it was a good movie. And I thought it was really well done and I I'll definitely watch it again. I can't wait till it gets pulled from the box because I want to watch it again. And if you are if you like shrooms, I would suggest taking some shrooms before you watch it. <laughs> fucking, I've never done shrooms, but I you think if I how. ever wanted to, that's probably what I would do. You'd be tripping. That'd be just like that. Movie. <laughs> blue you're blue. I'd look over at Crystal like Am I turning blue? It's like, are you blue? What's that horror movie? I think you're watched, purple. It was about plants and shit. Like, uh, no, it was a couple weeks ago. We had to watch it from our pick. Oh, uh, Annihilation. Yeah, oh, Annihilation. yeah. Be like See, that'd be another shrooms. good one. I don't yeah. know if I could watch that one on shrooms, man. Oh, uh, man. I don't think that would end well for anyone. That'd either. be a bad yeah. trip. That'd be a bad trip. <laughs> yeah, that'd be a bad one. Avatar is not a bad trip. You'll see that bear coming in like shapes at you. Yeah, I mean, there is a story. Yeah, exactly. Alligator's mouth. There's a story in Avatar, but it's not like the main selling point of the movie. Like, the selling point of the movie is like them underwater. I don't know where the fuck they they filmed this movie, but I want to go there because it looks amazing. That water was really pretty. It is so clear and pretty, and just wherever they were, it was gorgeous. CGI. It might be, honestly. I don't know. I don't know. But dude, it looks good. I don't care what anybody says. I'll watch that shit again. Yeah, I'll tell James you Cameron, dude, I I hate on you a lot, but you did something right there. I understand why they sunk all that money into your fucking movie. 
I'm gonna so. go to Bora Bora. Oh, uh, what? Bora Bora. Bora Bora. Yeah. I heard it's Bora Boring. Oh. I'm just kidding. I don't know. <laughs> he said, oh. He brought, brought up the water, blue water very, and the bluest very, water on earth. Yeah. 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 Very clear. Yeah. Huh. Check out check out pictures. It's, oh, man. like paradise. I'd love to live in paradise. Right. <laughs> Said we live in shitty Ohio where it's raining constantly right now. Tornadoes. Yes. <laughs> it Tornadoes rains here all the time all it of a sudden. Been, yeah. And the other time we don't get hardly any fucking rain. Yeah. Right? All right. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> Stop. 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 All right, Eric. What you been watching? All right. So I did write this stuff down this week. I watched uh, Two Guns. Is that the one with Denzel Washington and, and Mark Wahlberg? Yeah. Okay. I watched that one. I, uh, that movie. I only seen it once. It's okay. Yeah. It's ben, just one of those. It's yeah. kind of forgettable. Yeah. Bench Warmers. Watch that. <laughs> I haven't seen that movie yeah. in forever. Yeah. Uh, Maze Runner. That's a pretty good yeah, movie. I've always wanted yeah. to watch like that movie. It's pretty good. Pretty yeah. Good I, I like the, the sequels to it and all that. Yeah. The first one's really good, though. Like, because it's kind of like a confined movie. Whereas its sequels are more out in the world and shit. So. Yeah. They're based uh, off of books. Watched uh, Fantastic Beasts 1 and 2. I'm sorry. No, <laughs> I'm not. I like them. Uh-huh. I like those movies, too. I don't know why other people don't. Except for, you know, the, the one guy is just kind of weird, but... It's very weird. Yeah. Uh, it's, wh- who's he played by? Uh, Jermaine something uh, or another? I, I, I think he's weird in person anyway. Yeah. And then uh, I watched Toys. I love that movie. Is that the one with Robin, Robin Williams? Williams? Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, I mean, it's nostalgia for me. But then when I watched this time, it's like I've only seen that movie like twice. It didn't age well. Well, of course it doesn't. I love that movie though. But no, I'm saying it's very nostalgic. It's not from like the early '90s. Yeah, yeah. And that's all I watched. Like that, a sister turned out to be a robot. Yeah. <laughs> like, is, is, is that who plays his sister? Is it uh, Joan Cusack? Joan yeah. Cusack. Yeah. 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 <laughs> They made I'm that fine. whole I'm music. fine. I'm fine. Yeah. They made that like whole music video or whatever. Yeah. Like to distract them. Oh man, that was very <laughs> It's great music. Uh, you don't want that on your Spotify? No, I do not. <laughs> Why not? No. <laughs> well, for me, uh continued with the IT crowd. I'm just about done with that for the probably thirtieth time. It better be. <laughs> Witching and bitching. I watched that. The staircase. I continued with that. I'm not done yet. Uh, Killer Joe, which I'd never seen before. Uh, who's in that? Um, Matthew McConaughey. Oh, yeah, yeah. I've seen that. Yeah. 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 That's where he's like the hitman or whatever. Yeah. And, you know, I'd never seen him play a bad guy before, so it was interesting. That was good. Uh, was he a bad guy? I mean, yeah, I guess. It's yeah, like, kind of. Hey, yeah. yeah. I mean, they were all pretty shitty people. But... They are all kind of shitty. Yeah, they were all pretty <laughs> shitty people, but he, he didn't have to be that hard right. <laughs> you didn't have to be that way right. uh, I watched Come Play um, if anybody has has seen that or hasn't seen that basically it's like an autistic kid and like a monster um, it's kind of born of loneliness and it comes through screens um, it was born like of our addiction to screens or something I think I might have heard of this yeah it, I don't know I I Liked it for, like, the first maybe 45 minutes, and then it kind of went downhill for me. I did not care for it overall. Mm. Uh, I watched Urban Legend because I haven't seen it in, like, 100 years. How did that <laughs> uh, Robert Englund's still amazing. <laughs> uh, otherwise, it's a slasher from the 90s, right? Right. Yeah, they're all pretty much... Uh, like, yeah. They were all kind of of the same formula. Yep, like, they all had the same formula, kind of the same... Uh, Basic. Sorry, I had to lift it up. My knees were hurting. <laughs> Same basic idea, format. You know, the only thing that changed was the cast and faces. Right. So yeah, that was it for me. Um, so I guess with that, we're gonna get into this week's movie. Let's talk about the movie. Which this week we watched Nope from 2002. Rated R, two hours and ten minutes, um, starring Daniel Kaluuya, who played O.J. Haywood, Kiki Palmer, who played Emerald Haywood, and Brandon Perea, who played Angel Torres, Angel Wincott, who plays Anter- Antlers Hoist, Holst, and Steven Yun, who played Ricky Polk. And then written and directed by Jordan Peele. 
and your synopsis is residents in a lonely gulch of inland California bear witness to an uncanny chilling discovery. That's it for the synopsis. So, okay. Would you recommend? I would, and I'd watch again. How about you, Madison? Me? I liked the movie. I would definitely recommend it, yeah. Hey, Dad. Got a question real quick before you continue. Can we <laughs> add Spirited Away to the box? <laughs> I want oh, to watch that. Oh, we've got a whole we list. Totally I, add yeah. away to the I'll add it to here. my list here. I got yeah, it. Okay, I, was funny. I saw the picture and yeah. realized how much I wanted to watch it again. Such a good movie. Um, I would totally recommend and rewatch. This is my second time seeing it. And Me too. It was honestly better this time than it was the first time. I agree, yeah. actually. Mm-hmm. It's definitely one of those movies that I think the more you watch it, it's the better it gets. Uh, I, I agree. So. Maybe yeah. I need to rewatch it then because. Oh. <laughs> you didn't care for it? I did not. You didn't? Uh, no. Oh, I love. I did not. I thought it was way better than the first time. No. Yeah, the first time I wasn't. I liked it, but I, I wasn't. It. I wasn't a hundred percent sold. That's where I was at. When I mean, you bought it from the box, I was like, yeah, okay. "Would I recommend it to people?" Yeah, I'd say go ahead and give it a watch. But I don't. This is honestly my favorite of his three movies so far. I still haven't seen Us. It's good. They're all all yeah. his movies yeah. are good. I, yeah, I, I like the actor in general. I like a lot of the things he plays in. But no, I'm talking about the director. George oh, direct. Yeah. 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 Because he did Us, and then he did Get Out, and then this. And uh, I like both of those movies. I don't think that Get Out... I mean, it's got a cool premise, but I just don't care for it as much as everybody else does. When it first came out, I really, really liked it. And then, like, the more movies he makes, the more I'm like, yeah, that's not the best. Yeah, Like, that's not the best one you've done. This is by far... This is my favorite of his. I I realized Yeah, I mean... I realized that last night after watching it. Yeah. Um, Like... The only thing I really didn't like, and I realized it even more this time, was I really kind of hated that Keith David had to die so quickly. Oh, I know. <laughs> like, I just really <laughs> like him. More and he, Keith David. Not yeah. only his presence, but his voice. Yeah, and it's it's <laughs> it's his presence, though, mostly. like he, The way that he, especially that character for some reason. The, the dad? Yeah. Oh. He, the, yeah. That dad, the, his presence for some reason in that movie just seemed so strong. Yeah. And when he died it almost seemed like you know you were missing something even though you never even got to know the guy yeah but i, I think that it was it's good that their dad wasn't there yeah absolutely it was I, I, them but i think story. they did a good job at portraying that you're missing something with him gone right exactly you know like not only were they missing him we were too yeah and i don't oh, yeah. i don't I know Keith David. i don't know how they portrayed that with us never even get to knowing the guy but right. like <laughs> You know, when he died, you know, I wasn't like sad. And, well, you know, it was but, kind like, of it was kind of this, the scene where he was uh, tying up the uh, the saddle and his dad's like leaning against the doorway and he says something about the horse ghost. Yeah. Like that is one of those scenes where you're like, man, I really wish we seen more of him. In this yeah. Movie, you know, I don't know. It was just kind of strange to me because he dies, you know, and then you're kind of just sitting there like, you know, you feel that loss too. like you feel like some, like like he's missed throughout the movie. Like, what would he have done if he was there? How could they have been more protected or, you know, whatever? I think that, I think that, uh, what's his name? Daniel Kaluuya? Yeah. Kaluuya, I think is how you... Him and, and, uh, what's the girl's name? Um, Oh, uh, uh, Kiki. Kiki Palmer. Yeah. So those two, dude, like, for one, she's Her energy? Her energy. Oh, man. She's great in the movie. Yes. Like, she fucking, she's entertaining. She's all... Like, yeah, oh, yeah. God, I just yeah. love and her. And he's just kind of like, I like his, I like how... He's so t- calm, down calm, and yeah, just, calm. yes. No. He's, he's the anti, yeah. anti to her. Yeah, exactly. You know, just... So, like, the way he acts, he's very, you know, just quiet and timid. Even whenever he was freaked out, he was just like... Nope. Even when nope. she, you know, nope. there at the end, like, when she's, nope. you know, on that bike, and he's on the horse, and she's freaking out, you know, yeah. she's all like, you know, freaking Come out. Come on, OJ, let's and, go! And, and, and he's going... Yep. And that's all he's doing. And it calms her down. That's all he's doing. You know? He doesn't have to say anything. He doesn't have to freak. He doesn't have... She just calms down by him I doing think that. she I think he is the kryptonite to her. Like he he definitely helps tame her down, bring her back to normality. Mm-hmm. And and that's a good relationship between a brother Absolutely. and sister. Absolutely. It's a one so, it's beautiful. It's, it's wonderful. reminds me a lot of the relationship that me and my sister have and how we act. You guys can relate. You guys are brother and sister. Yeah, not like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> I don't fucking know. We, we, we don't have a like middle ground. To That's us. how we, me we, and my we, sister we are. Just keep 
pushing the other one. <laughs> zero, <laughs> zero to 100 all yeah. the time. Yeah. Uh-huh. There's no back and forth, like, me, I, neutral me, ground. Me and my sister can go from sitting on her bed, like, do, not even talking to each other, to me, like, kicking her off the bed or her punching me in the arm because I'm trying to kick her off the bed. We usually don't resort to violence. Not anymore. We, I mean, it's no, not, no, it's not. No, actually, no. <laughs> me and we Kelly never did. We no. used to fucking knock the shit out of each other. <laughs> um, I throw some things So I want to talk about the time. shoe. <laughs> I want to know what you guys' thoughts on the meaning of the shoe is. <sighs> the shoe. I don't the, yeah, know. The, the, so yeah. This it is was just one of my problems. Up. Oh, I, I actually can't answer that because it's in trivia, so I won't. Oh, man. I was hoping it was just left open. There was no... See, there, there's, you know, here's one of my... You know, I, I want to hear everybody else's opinion on it to let me know. Like, tell me what you think the shoe means. For the story, and then once we get to trivia, Here, the here's one of my biggest problems. Like, what was the point of the monkey show? What was like, that what was that doing to anything for the plot of the movie? Like, I can also I'm so answer that. Thrown off so, by that. my idea of the whole, movie as an entirety is, is it just to show him how he became psychotic? No, I no. Mean, I think that what it's what it's showing me is that um, the whole movie is based around viewership, the audience, the people that's watching. So that's the whole point of like not looking at the the thing in the sky and it won't kill you, it won't attack you. That's why they call um that's why he calls that thing uh what does he call it? The audience or some shit like that. Well, yeah, it's So and it's got a lot to do with that, and I think that has a lot to do with the shoe. The shoe, I think, has something to do with how he perceives what actually happened compared to what actually happened. So another thing that I wrote down was that um, so whenever they ask him about what happened that day on set, he says, didn't you see the SNL sketch? They do it perfectly. So, and I think that's how he perceives it to try to avoid the subject and avoid that. The traumatiz- re- traumatization. Yeah, re- re-realizing that trauma. Oh, so see, and and I, the shoe, I, I think that the shoe is something that whenever he thinks about it is something that he imagines. See, yeah, the see- first time I watched it, I didn't take it that way. When I first see, seen him having all that mem- memorabilia, I said, dude has to be a psycho holding on all that memorabilia from something so traumatic. And he and was. And that's how I thought about oh, yeah. it, too. Like, the first time I thought, <laughs> I don't how think, can I didn't he, think that way at all. Well, how could he, you know, hold on to that kind of stuff? How could he, you know, want to... Because it's a trauma. And I understand he's, like, trying to monetize something, mm-hmm. maybe, that, you know, happened to you. Because it's a making good out of bad or something. Right. But, like... When he was doing the whole show with, you know, the, the, al- well, I guess we'd just call it an animal. I'm going to go with animal because I really hate alien thing. It's, it sounds yeah. so It is lame. alien, but it is, it yeah. is also an animal. Sound, a, in my opinion, it's a predator. I like when he said animal and, you know, called it a predator because, I mean. That's exactly what it's a predator. Abso-freaking-lutely. Territorial, all that shit. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, when he, when he's trying to, um, you know, essentially, like he said, tame a predator, right? Um, I think what happened with, um, Ricky the second time I watched it, because I was very confused about that the first time. I think that's one of the reasons I didn't like it a lot the first time I watched it, but this time I watched it and I kind of took it as, you know, when that whole thing happened with the monkey and everything and like you seen Ricky and you know, the monkey, he turns around towards him and it's almost like the monkey like realizes or calms down or like, you know, comes out of it, sees Ricky and comes it comes to Ricky under the table and does the whole like fist bump thing. Right. Right. And then he gets shot. So I think that was sort of like for a moment for Ricky where, you know Maybe he could tame the beast. Like, yeah. Like he he thought, that could I be. thought you know, like yeah, he he took it as like, you know, I did it once. Maybe so I can, do it, I can do, it do it again. Yeah. You know, he wasn't scared of this because he, you know, he had that trauma from before. Yeah, he already had this, and, 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 nothing, and nothing happened to and him I know, that time. I know everybody's like, "Well, why does he hold on to all that memorabilia?" Well, for one, he's a failed actor. He's he's going to do whatever he can to hold on to what his fame, on, fame. What he yeah, had. hold on to his fame because it's going to make him money. Yeah. Um. So I think that that's got a lot to do with it. And as for like the one question I had about him was, why the fuck? Okay, so he's buying these horses off of these guys for. Like a le- over eleven thousand dollars. How many butts? Is, how many asses is he putting in them stands? They ain't paying for them fucking horses. Right. Yeah. He's definitely losing his ass on on this whole deal here. He's so, he's banking on this to be the the thing that the puts them on the map. Or whatever. maybe yeah. yeah. But either and then like it just very literally banking on it. Right. 
Like, and then he like lose. Uh, then the thing loses it and kills everybody except the horse anyway. <laughs> so yeah. I'm just like, uh, but yeah. So I just I wanted to know what everybody's thought and perspective was on the shoe because I think that the <laughs> shoe represents a side of his imagination that he kind of over embellishes about the story and what happened that day. And he, it would also he remembers it as that shoe standing straight up like that when. That might not have been the case. And it would also explain, like, why it's in the case that way. Right. Like, right, why he exactly. had it in the case that way. Yeah. So, I just thought it was kind of weird, and I don't know, maybe the maybe the uh, the trivia explains a little bit better, but... Yeah, because I'm hoping the trivia does, because that whole monkey show yeah. thing, it just threw me off. Some like, of the things in this movie are kind of like, like the girl with the face, like, that's in the crowd. She, that's the only appearance you see of her. Mm-hmm. She's the one after that got her. incident yeah. and yeah, everything she, yeah. because then you're like, oh, well, okay, and then yeah. she automatically like obviously everybody gets sucked up into the thing. And dude, whenever they're showing them, that is that terrifying. Thing, it was that, oh it was my like, god, god. It's kind of gut wrenching because they're literally being digested. Yeah, yeah, and you can hear them screaming yeah, even as it's screaming. flying around. Yeah. And like, that That's, is legit terrifying. Yeah, I yeah. had that same reaction the first time I watched it. Yeah. Just like, and I I was watching it the first time. With Jeremiah and the second time by myself because he was like, I've already seen it. I'm not. I'm not watching it. I'm like, fine, whatever. <laughs> All right. And so like I watched him by myself the second time. And the first time I was like, you know, oh, that's terrible. And then like the second time I was like, I still don't like it. I still don't like it. I don't think I realized it as much the first time as I did the second time. I'm yeah, like, it's, it's flying around with these people still screaming it. Yes. Yeah. I'm like oh my so god. So they're they're still I mean, alive. I, going. Well, I was thinking through, about like, like how oh. they were feeling. I'm like God. They gotta feel. That's got to be terrible. Yeah. You know what I mean? To be literally being gi- digested by this. And thing. at first, like the first time I watched it, um, like when, um, when OJ and Clover, you know, when he, when they're first, when the first time he sees it up in the sky and they're running and he ducks into that building and he finally sees it in the sky. I remember sort of feeling disappointed because I'm a, a literal flying saucer. Right. You know, like yeah. rolling yeah. my eyes, like, okay. But then, like, as the movie progresses and you see that it's not really a flying saucer, it's more like, like a, um, an actual uh, alien. No, no. What no, are, like, what are those? Like a like a creature in the no, woods. No, what are those fish? The uh, jellyfish. jellyfish. No, that the kids petted the um uh, stingrays. Stingrays. Oh, stingray. Stingray. It's more like yeah. a stingray in the fact that it, um, it moves. It doesn't just... It moves like a jellyfish. Yeah, and it... You know, later you see it completely warp, but, like, when it first, you know, you see it, it looks like a, like, just like a straight flying saucer, but then you realize it's not metal. It doesn't stay, like, in that shape, necessarily. It kind of moves and waves. Right, that's what I noticed. I was like, it was like this, and then it was like this. It almost, it it almost moves like a fish somehow, like a, like a jellyfish and like a, like a stingray in the way it moves. The way it kind of, yeah. Yeah, the way it waves and, and moves like that, you know. But, um, yeah, the, I remember the first time I was like, oh, that's a little on point. But then as as it moved on, I'm like, well, that is very that is very unique. I like that because it explains why everybody's like, oh, it was a flying saucer. But, you know, at the same time, makes it terrifying in a new way, because then you realize it's not. Yeah, because the, the second time you watch it, you realize the second time, you know, the ending of the movie, you're mm-hmm. like. Holy fuck. So the whole time you're thinking like, well, you know now it's not a flying saucer. Right. By the end of the movie. So you're watching it this time and you're seeing some of the scary shit that's actually like, okay, like the people when he's flying over and then people are screaming. You're like, why are they, you know, the first time I can see people being like, well, why are they screaming? You know what I mean? But the second time you watch it, like, you know, it's not a flying saucer. You know what it is. So you're yeah. like, holy fuck, it's digesting them. Yes. Like they're literally being digested alive. Yes. So like, you're like, holy shit. That's, yeah. That's what made it so much worse the second time. Yeah, it's so that's terrifying. Like I said, you got to watch it a second time to realize a lot of these things as you're watching the movie. Like, See, Dad, this is why we say rewatching things is sometimes good because you catch things that you miss. It's true. Yeah. 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 And I'll tell you. Um, that's I thought about the same thing with Infinity Pool. Like, did we miss some things? Like, did we should we I don't know, but it? I'm not ready for that kind of I, I'm commitment. I'm not ready for that. I'm not ready for that level of commitment right yet. I'm still, trauma, I'm yeah. still healing. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still healing. <laughs> it's, still, it's still inside me. Like, yeah. <laughs> that's yeah, what she I said. Haven't shit that bad. That bad. <laughs> bad my eyes yeah. are still burning yeah. a little. <laughs> I still it's taste still in digesting. my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I remember also 
I was really excited about um, Antlers Hoist, that guy, that character, because of um, Mike who plays it. Yeah. Love that guy. I was about to say, it's, I'm happy to see that he he's in a role again. I Dumbest was, decisions in movie But you can I was always so tell. disappointed in him the first like, time I watched this and the second time. I'll you be can honest, always but, tell who it is by his voice. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. He's got that very raspy oh, voice. Yeah. Oh, for sure. I didn't understand. Like, dude, he's like. You know, he said some fucking, like he said, some cryptic shit. Well, and he's... And then got up and, like, started filming. Like, what are you doing? You Right up until shot, that dude. point, he's, like, you know, badass on their team. He's, like, amazing. You're on his side. He's doing all great. Right. And then all of a sudden, he's I, like, I I'm just going to be stupid now. And go film this out in, yeah, that, that, in yeah. the open. Like, so he, he had the me. shot. There's absolutely what? no reason for it. No I didn't lead up to it. The only no. thing that I got from it is that maybe his own arrogance... And his want to be a sort of like a legend, die I a think, legend. I think I have it in trivia to why why that choice was made, or it's, I think it's, it's based I, on something. I believe I, it has a lot to do with his not just his arrogance. I would say so much as like him wanting to be infamous. Like, uh, all right, I got this great shot. It's gonna make you know. I'm gonna go down in history as the man who died getting it, or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, and I get that. It's well, just like, to me like pissed me off because i didn't want his character to be that right he didn't yeah. seem that way to begin with it's very it's very he didn't, off yeah. yeah he didn't seem arrogant he didn't seem you know and then when he, when he when he was talking about the purple people later when he was quoting that it was almost chilling it was almost like you're i did there, like i like that yeah part, you're yeah. you're mm-hmm. you're you're listening to him say I that him and you're that just sort like of like that fucking part of well it's almost like um what's his face in jaws when he's talk when he's talking about the the shark um quint Oh yeah, yeah. When Quinn's talking about the, the shark and everybody's listening to him talk about the shark, you know, and everybody's like intently listening to Quint talk about the shark, it's the same thing. Everybody's listening to him quote he, this purple people. He died peep. in the end, though, too. I know, but <laughs> he's he's listening to you know everybody's listening to him quote this this you know poem or song or whatever you know childhood thing, but in adulthood with what's going on, it's so on point. You know, you're just mesmerized by what he's saying, right? Uh, note to self, if they ever start singing or have a poem right up their sleeve, then they're going to die. <laughs> yeah, yeah, movie trope. <laughs> Add that yeah. to the movie trope. <laughs> so, uh, so, what'd you say? Um, am I the only one that would have beat the shit out of those kids for being fake aliens? Fuck he no, did. Dude. I'd <laughs> have beat the shit out of them. That the first time. That scared the shit out of me. Dude, yeah. that, that yeah. fucked me up. Moved, uh-huh. And it came out yeah. of shadows and moved. I'm like, oh no! Then oh, now the- there's little people or like uh, little aliens. They're freaky looking. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah they were. The first time I watched it, he said, "Nope." I was like, "Yeah, yeah, yeah, exactly." I was watching. I was like, "This is how all people should be in all <laughs> yeah, no horror shit. movies." And no Dad shit. was like, "That's the point." But I was like, see, "I know," but that did give it away for me though. Like when he was like, "Nope," and started to walk away. I'm like, "No." Nope, and then he that, breaks out his not, phone. That's not real then, because in a horror movie. They walk towards the danger, not away. So yeah, but that's the whole point of this movie, though. Is like, I know, that's why he but, stayed in the car. He closed yeah. the door. He's like, so he's like, but like no. whenever he punches that kid, though, I'm like, fucking deserve it. <laughs> <laughs> he turn around and the thing's like there. He's like, bat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh-huh. yeah. <laughs> I was like, yeah. At first, whenever I saw that thing, I was like, there's no way that's an alien. It's furry. I just, I've never seen any like. Well, when it first came out of the shadows, though, you didn't. Oh get yeah, it. yeah, like, no. It uh-huh. just, it was, you, you didn't see anything, and then it moved. Out. Yeah, and it was like, no. uh. And then you no, see the uh, other one pop no. out like yeah. this. It's like, uh, yeah. And then it does no. this number where like its head comes out and its arm is just dangling there. You're like, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he did, like he cut back and I'm like, he, another one's hanging upside down behind him. And he turns and he punches that. Right <laughs> I like oh. I like when um when Emerald or M comes out and she starts you know run her mouth and she's like, oh it's on it's on you know and he's like, you stole their horse you and he's up. like, you started this. Oh, she's like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and poor him, he's the one that gets the brunt of it. Yeah, he's so, like, also, like, when he locks the door when the alien's above him. Yeah. He's yeah. just like, yeah. That's what she was saying. That's what she was saying. Also, when he was in the car, and he's like, nope. Nope. And then when he locks the door, that cracked me up yeah. too, though, because it's like that's not going to help. I don't think. <laughs> if it decides it's going to eat you and Anything the car, to make it's going to feel more comfortable. Sure, yeah. sure. Although after it ate the horse, I don't think it's going to eat the car. I don't yeah. think it would do that. Eat, no. not eat. No. Yeah, eat, 
Eight, eight, would it really be able to eat him if he's like protected by the car though because it doesn't that's what i'm saying like i don't think it would try oh yeah because that part yeah. after where the comes horse up to, uh, where steven yen's character comes up to the gate he's like hey that looks like one of our horses and he's about to ask where's he got she's like where'd you get yours yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, like that's smart, that's um, smart. i don't know <laughs> Uh, my my wife would know. know. <laughs> my wife would know. Now you know, talking about his his uh, character, and I, I'm not trying to be uh, like racist or anything, but in the '90s, do you any anybody that would have cast an Asian kid to play a kid sheriff? Uh, I'm just well, yeah, that says different time. I'm, I'm just asking it the question. More of a play on like the Indiana Jones. Right, that's where I was going. Uh, with that too. Uh, okay, that would have made sense. With, that would make uh, sense. What's his name uh, from the Indiana Jones movie? Short round, short round. Yeah, so but he I wasn't. Think, he was just like a kid in a baseball cap, though. It wasn't. I understand that, but I but think he that still that's trying to cash kind of in on that. On, yeah, yeah. he's kind of playing on that thing. Eh, I guess. So like every like if you think about like some of the most nostalgic oh, yeah. movies have. Little it was Asian just strange things. to me that they would you know because like this is all Western stuff, and yeah. in the '90s you didn't see that. You didn't see it. You didn't see a lot of variety in right, Western yeah, stuff yeah. then. You know, but I think it was more of a play on the Indiana Jones, which good for them if that that. that was what they were going to do, I guess. But like, you know, because I mean, you had all types in the Western times. I mean, yeah, that's true. Um, But yeah, I just that kind of threw me a little bit. I did love the the Oprah shot. (laughs) Yeah, Oprah shot. shot. (laughs) I love that was just a reference. Like when you said the Oprah shot, they're like, what? And she's like, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. She knew it. She knew exactly what he was talking about. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. I cracked up when uh you know that dude on that was on that bike that bike when he gets thrown off. Yeah. The bike. His, oh his yeah. His scream uh-huh. had me fucking well, rolling. Well, what's even worse though oh, yeah. is that, oh, uh, I that dude, guy, that too, fucking like, died. That dude his scream. What's yeah. even worse though is that like when he when he goes when he goes to like get to the guy and he's like, "Why aren't you filming this? Where's my camera, dude? The fuck is wrong with yeah, you?" Yeah, he was the most unrealistic character. He was like a, in this entire movie. I was like, "Why?" No. He's getting picked up, and like his bones are just dangling. His, yeah, his arm is like completely <laughs> broken Gone. in four different places, and he's just worried well, about the camera. Like, I'd be the problem too is, much is pain. is he unbelievable? Or I mean, like Jordan Peele would know I those think, TMZ people. I don't know. I uh, think in I mean, this case, seeing something like that, he might. I don't know, man. I don't think he would be unbelievable. No, no. Maybe not. I don't know. And the that's TMZ that's the people. bullshit part. That's the, that's yeah. the that's the ridiculous part yeah. of it. TMZ is get my camera, get my camera. Yeah. Up, yeah. Why aren't you filming this? Like, because he doesn't give a shit. Obviously. Yeah. Uh-huh. Um. I have to say though, like, just because of like my reaction to aliens and stuff, like, you have to be in a phenomenal director to take something like this, an alien concept, so to speak, and make it good. Yeah, because in this case, especially at the end, to sell something so bizarre, you know, because if you think about it at the end, the thing looks like a giant fucking kite. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I don't understand. Like, I get it. There's form. There could be life I think forms that out that's there that we don't fully understand. Form. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Is there's forms out there. There's things out there that we don't fully understand. And I think that's kind of what he was saying with this. Like you don't know what it is, what it's con- you know what it consists of, mm-hmm. anything like that. But like at the same time, it's so bizarre that I could see anybody else trying to do it and not and not being able to sell it very well. Well, and I like how when it's in that form, the most um, the thing that draws your focus, the thing that you see the most is essentially it's it's mouth, it's it's gullet, yeah, everything yeah, yeah. you know, because that's what you're seeing. You're seeing like just that square green thing and then the rest kite, of it's just kind of like kite. this flowing it's thing right but you but it's you're giant, seeing it's a giant kite yeah to eat you like but this. what it's you're just... seeing what you're focusing on is that green <laughs> square piece the, the mm-hmm. that's essentially its mouth the little yeah, flags right. which is essentially it. what it's what what's terrifying about it right that's the whole focus of it hey hey if you think about it whenever it's like um it's like all the stuff is falling from it that it didn't want to like digest it's or kind of eat yeah it was i, I was him. thinking the same thing with <laughs> that blood rain that was for real that was, yeah. that, was oh, sweet as fuck, dude. that, that was whole awesome. scene was awesome oh like, yeah it was so yeah. good so when uh uh what's his name dies the the dad oh. the first thing i put is put down i was like so did somebody shoot a cannon can that's with, what like, I mis- thought. miscellaneous shit inside of it right well and i like that their explanation was that like 
What was it? Some kind some, of like some plane? people like drop stuff out of a plane or a something. Private well, jet. Said, like, no, I, thought, I thought they said a prop plane or something. Like a that. private no, jet or a private no, plane. Maybe? No, something about like. But you would think that people would say something like, "Hey, we dropped a." Can I get my house key back? Yeah, like we dropped shit it's out of our plane. Ass. Yeah. <laughs> well, like you would think that they would say like, "Hey, we dropped some shit out of our plane." Heads up. <laughs> but nobody said anything, so yeah. like, I just feel like there that should have been an investigation somehow right, or something. Should have been like nobody, like you know, since they can't explain it. Oh, must have been a plane. Yeah, hey, what do you guys want for lunch? Planes fly over <laughs> all the time and drop shit out of them. Like, what planes fly over and just drop shit out of them? That's a and space what, and turd don't, right and, there. And, and, <laughs> yeah, space peanut. <laughs> and they don't, and they don't say anything. You know, I mean that. They they say everything, so if there's a, you know if there's an accident, if there's something, you know if somebody you know hits the thing and everybody's you know, luggage falls out, they're gonna say something, you know. Right. They have to say something. Where's the little house, black box? Key, people people come out of the plane ass. and their stuff is missing. They're yeah. not gonna go. Oh, weird. No, <laughs> like, they, they said they said it was private. So like it was. They a still private have to. Jet. They still have they, to. Yeah, they still have to record that. Yeah, you know, like uh, yeah, they still have to record that. It's a little stuff black box. Yeah, regulation and all that. They they'd have to uh, say something. Like you know, what if it was like a rich person though, like that just owned their own plane? Well, what I'm saying on every plane, there's this, what they call the little black box. It's got every information that goes on inside the plane. Any malfunction or anything happens, and mm-hmm. that little black box is contained. Yeah, but that's not necessarily that public though. I'm saying like they would have to like report that, to, like you know air traffic or whatever to say like hey we dropped luggage or oh yeah some i think i think uh i will say that listen watching the movie this time one of my favorite aspects the entire movie i didn't realize before uh was the music the score yeah some of the score was just so good i'm like man like it really it drives up because you watch a lot of movies anymore and you don't pay attention to the score with a lot Mm -hmm. of movies like only certain movies with a good score will catch your attention yeah so like recently we watched True Romance. Yep. The score to that is very catchy. Yes. Yes. It's very, you know, um, or like whenever you watch, I mean, you, Terminator most was another one we talked Terminator, about. Yeah, Terminator. A lot of your uh, classic horror movies, horror movies that you really know and love, they have scores that you know, like Michael Myers or Friday 13th yeah. or, you know, maybe not Nightmare on Elm Street so much. They don't really have, I wouldn't even say. I would like the well, theme. The theme Maybe of Den theme. Nightmare is when good. When they're doing and, the counting um, and stuff. Then yeah, yeah, I, I like a lot of that's it. That's your score for but yeah, But yeah, just like certain scores for certain movies, you're like, okay, I recognize that. It's I from happen this to think movie. that the score for Nightmare is very good. You I didn't should. Say it's bad. I'm just saying that it's not as memorable. It, I think it's very calm memorable. Down. Calm down. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh. Jason's more memorable than Freddy. Oh. Freddy. No, honey. don't, don't, no, don't, honey. don't get each other started. Come on, Eric. No, I'm, you know just, I'm, I'm saying that's that for my the world. job is to get her started. Yeah, I'm not okay? <laughs> <laughs> I, that's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying that for the world. You can think that all you want. Go, go crazy. Let him, <laughs> just leave him be. It's, 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 it's facts. Don't it's, worry about it. So you're right, Eric. Brother alive at the end. Huh? Yes. Like, see, that's that's that's, a, that's what that's I was confused another thing. about. Is she just seeing him, or is he actually there? I'm. I was saying that he's there. He's he's alive. I'm going yeah, with right. that's what I was going with. But I was. He was sure. out yonder though. Out yonder. Was yeah. The sign. Because well, yeah. yeah. That's what. That's the thing is there was a sign next to him that says out yonder, and I'm like, is he? Does that mean he's dead? Is that like foreshadowing or? Since I didn't see anything in trivia about that being a question, like nobody oh, asked so that you, question. So you have no answer. And he didn't. He didn't bring it up or anything. Then I'm saying yes, he's alive, and it's supposed to be obvious to us that he is. Pure speculation. You know what I'm saying? Karen. Because right, yeah. a lot of times when it's supposed to be a question to us, or like it's supposed to be questionable, either they, you know, say, "Well, I'm not going to answer it," or whatever. You know, that's usually what where it goes. Right. But hey, so you think that this thing would be like spinning I heard up you. more? more Quit speculating. Huh? I don't see any clothes. Close. This thing ain't spitting up any clothes. Maybe it likes. Maybe it can clothes. digest clothes. Maybe. Maybe it's just saving it for later. To I think try it's on. just metal. <laughs> it's saving it so like, you can knit it all together and then wear it as metal a little like, what it, you, like robe the, the horse after it gets out of the shower. <laughs> the nickel, the and then the balloon right. was a, one of those like metal, old fashioned like birthday balloon kind of deals, right. like the foily stuff. Yeah, the foil balloon. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think it. I think it's just metal that it can't digest. Hmm. I don't know. Movie's a ride, though. I loved it. I yeah. love the movie. So, 
Um, where was I with my... I don't know. I was. I had something that I wanted to say. Then say it already. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Wait, is a horse a predator? No. Then like, okay, never mind. What do you mean is a horse? Slow a motion well, sunglasses because... at night. Slow motion sunglasses. Yeah, oh. sl- sunglasses at night when he pulls up when the, the aliens above him. Oh yeah, and you yeah. just hear the the sunglasses oh, at night, yeah. very slow oh, motion. It's like sunglasses. It's like man. It's kind of creepy, really. Yeah. It's what? Creepy. Well, all of That's it sets all. the tone. Like the everything that he does, the lighting, the the sound, the everything that he does for all of those scenes set some kind of tone for you. Like what I was going to bring up, you brought up, you know, the music. And that scene with OJ where he, he, you know, he's got lucky and he's the parachute and, you know, he's riding um, to try and get its attention. He's riding away and it's got like that Western music. Mm -hmm. Like it totally takes you like almost out of the, out of that movie, you know, it takes you in like a different direction, but it's almost doing that on purpose. Is that other guy alive? What? The guy from the fry store. Was he alive? Yeah, or did he's he yeah, alive. Yeah, 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 because he wrapped himself like in the tarp. Right, I just, I didn't know if whenever he got bar- picked up. I felt bad for him, dude. Oh, man, you imagine how hair. bad you know that would hurt? Him up, dude. Oh, but you know, if you're going to, I mean, if you got a choice, I'll take the barbed wire. Right, I'll take well, the barbed wire. Well, he didn't have a choice. Like, he got wrapped up in the barbed wire before it came out. Well, then he, no, he wrapped out. it around him Well, that's more. what I'm saying. Did like, he? yeah. That's what I'm saying. I, I so if I, couldn't. If I have so a choice, up, so he couldn't get picked up. I didn't. Yeah. I, I, I thought he just got wrapped. It up was in smart. It. I wouldn't have thought of it. Like I don't know if I would have been able to do it. Like this is gonna hurt. Like oh, a motherfucker. Man, <laughs> I, I but he had the tarp that? too. In that in that moment, I don't think you'd you. feel it. No, probably not. He like, did. No, he was die, screaming. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I don't think you feel it though. Like your your adrenaline and, and everything. And then straight dropped his ass, and he's like rolling down the hill. Like he can get wrapped up in it, dude. I um just the pulling of it, let alone, ah, man, that would hurt. <laughs> it's strange because in some movies you don't want to see the monster because, like, you see the monster and you're like, "Oh, that totally ruined it for me." And in this one, like, it if you were to describe this monster to somebody, I'd laugh you it was you'd laugh at it. I'm like, "Wait, so you're telling me it's like a giant sheet in the sky?" <laughs> yeah, <laughs> That's yeah. What it looks like. but like if you. But you see it, and it's still terrifying, or it, it works somehow. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, you know? it's mesmerizing. Yeah, like, yeah. I don't know, it's just, it's so strange. I, I thought it was just a flying frisbee. <laughs> <laughs> I did, I'm sorry. I, I like it. colored orange. Am, am I the only one that finds horses really scary? Horses? horses? Like, they can be scary, yeah. Yeah, yeah I, mean, I don't creatures. like them. They're, they're docile for the most part. But yeah. I mean, they're so large, and they can be—they can kick you through a wall. I mean, oh like, yeah, just yeah. like any animal. A kick. Yeah, just they like can. any animal. If you show respect, yeah. I mean, you get bucked off of one, you can yeah. be paralyzed for life. I mean, that's for just sure. the way it is. For like sure. who? Uh, who is it? Um, Superman. Oh. Um, Christopher Reeve. Christopher Reeve. Yeah. yeah, he was bucked off of a horse and paralyzed from the neck down. Yeah. He was done. Well, I mean, is they're an dead? animal. No, he is now. I yeah. think that's oh. the over the over overall message of the movie. And it starts with the horses, is that they're animals. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And animals That's overall... That's why, because I thought they were trying to make a relation between the horses and the um, the animal in the sky. The well, I, yeah, they kind of are, because, you know, I the mean, first thing he says is, don't look them in the eyes, please. Yeah, I know. Yeah. That's you that's know? where I got the first relation yeah, from. Like, they were trying to like make... they're both predators or something. Is that mm-hmm. what you're trying? Yeah. Not, well, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't call a horse a predator. Um, they will be protective of themselves. Um I think the point they were trying to draw there is that they both demanded respect. Yeah. You know, that he he was respectful of the horses by not looking them in the eye like that. And it was one of the first things he learned about the animal in the sky was right. that it demanded respect. Which, if you notice, for him, he had trouble looking into people's eyes anyway. Right. right. It was just a thing that I think he had grown used to all yeah. the time. Because, With you know, the horses, yeah. Their, whenever they first show up to that job. He's not even looking at the people. He's like right. looking down and, you know, he doesn't want to make eye contact. Acting right. like he doesn't want to make eye contact right. with anybody. Seems very antisocial, yeah. Yeah. yeah very. Well, I mean, he spends all of his time with horses. And, yeah. Right. You know, that I mean, kind of threw me off, too. Is cause it like his acting just made it seem like he didn't want to be there at all. That's just the way. That, that's not how his I character mean, was. Yeah. 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 That's the character, not Yeah, him. he's not a bad actor. No, I'm, I mean, he's a great actor in everything I've seen him in. That's why it was throwing me off with this, this movie. Yeah. I was like. 
I don't know. It seems like you just didn't want to be in it. From what I was, from what I was getting right. on, it, you know. No, I think he, I think he did a great job. And, Absolutely. Uh, I think him and Kiki Palmer were awesome. I love both of them. Yes, I agree. I, I give, I definitely give it to Kiki Palmer though. Above, above. Oh all. man, she, she, she kills she it. Was awesome. She was like, I loved her in the movie. What I've seen her in something else before. What was it? Um, well, she was in. Uh, no, she wasn't in Us. I don't think. I've never seen that. She's been in other shit, though. I don't think she was, no. No. She's been in other shit, though. Um, I can't remember what else. What did I just watch her in recently? I know. I feel like I just seen something with her. I just saw her in something recently here. Um, Oh, man. I might have to look that up because it's going to bother me now. (laughs) Yeah, it'll bother me, too, because I'm like, who the fuck? What what else was she in just recently? Yeah, I feel like I've just seen something. Whoops. Uh, And I would be wrong, apparently. Hold on. I might have seen her. Or something... From before, maybe. Kiki Palmer. She's in the Lightyear movie. His voice actor. No, I wouldn't know that. Yeah, uh, I recognize no. her voice from Big Mouth. Medea's Family Reunion? No. I think I have seen a couple episodes of Family Reunion before. She's in Sister Act 3? It's not she even really? out yet. <laughs> oh. It's still in development. Unfortunately. She's apparently in the Scream TV series. She's a singer, too. I've seen some episodes of that, too. So maybe I've that. seen her from that. Animal? Huh. No. I got no idea. Maybe I hadn't seen her in something recently. I know. It felt like I did, too. I'm I'm coming up I'm coming up empty, yeah. too. Huh. I got she's nothing. She doesn't know. She was in Key and Peele. She was in an episode of Key and Peele. Mm-hmm. Uh, I explain her relationship with Jordan, or with Jordan, Jordan Peele. Peele yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I can't. I don't see anything that I would have remembered her from. Mm-hmm. So yeah, but uh, apparently there are she a few is things a, I've seen her in. Apparently, she is a singer. Also, I know I've seen that. Yeah, I got nothing on this. So, all right. Yeah. Well, everybody got uh, through all their notes. Uh, I liked Angel's name. Yeah, yeah. I, I have to say, I liked, I liked um, Emerald. Oh, he he, mm-hmm. number one, and then Angel was my second favorite, and then of course the brother. I don't know; they were all Otis, great. I think it was Otis Junior. Yeah, it seemed they very, were all great. But... Very dramatic to get a picture. I liked it. Yeah, it, was I, I, it was a little bit. Dramatic they're, they're in my poor. They were, that was all she had at they, the moment, right? Yeah, but poor. she. I mean, she money. she was waiting for it, and she would just keep doing it. I'm like. But at the Wait time, it's in the picture. Wait till it's there. Well, I think she was trying to get it at the right moment because it was it was she knows how fast it moves. Yeah, and I think at the time, all she could think of was that it had taken everything from her because she thought her brother was gone. She thought like she was just pissed, and she was bound and determined she was going to get something so like, out every of this time thing. She 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 scrolled it. She screamed because if you think about it, they've got film footage and a picture now, mm-hmm. and yeah, so it's pretty. Well, wild. no, they don't have the film footage because remember when it fell down, all the film. Hit the sun and oh, they ruined it. Yeah. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, all they have. Well, is hopefully, the they can get the money that they. But with all the I'm the sure film, all the coverage, all the news coverage around it. Plus but this picture, just proves that she and her brother had it yeah. first. That's that's what they were going for. Is just to prove that they they were there first, right. right? And she, you know, I think at that moment, the reason she kept screaming and there was so much drama in that scene is that. At that moment, all she can think of is that she's lost everything, her brother and, you know, everything. It's, you know, her dad. And she's not going to let this thing win. Right. You know, she wants to get the picture and she wants to kill it. That's all she wants to do in this moment. So she's going to do what she can to get it. I love how that thing blew up. It was like, <laughs> and then it was just over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A little anticlimactic, but still. I mean, what do you, was, what do you, what do you think is going to happen? It was, yeah, it was. It was. You ate that thing, you're like, oh shit. This it looks like a powder ball. It's something I ain't going to agree with. Yeah. <laughs> so. <laughs> and it, when it did, it was like, fucking choke on it. Yeah, choke on it, you motherfucker. <laughs> fucking choke on it. Because all I could think, all I could see was those people being pulled up in there and like, you think about all those kids that were in, <laughs> yeah. In, right. in, the, in that. Not even just that, but also like, it brought me back to like War of the Worlds, mm. whenever Tom Cruise gets in that thing and he like throws in fucking grenades in that thing, like and it just blows up and you're like, yeah, bitch, mm-hmm. like you know what I mean. Like, by the way, they're making that into a series also, but it's going to be in England or Britain or something. So it looks good though. 
So. Oh, did I tell you? They came out with a name for the new Daryl Dixon show. Guess what it's called? What? Daryl Dixon. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> it was Norman Reedus's idea. He said it on a, I think it was Jimmy Fallon interview. Daryl, D- of course it is. Mm-hmm. Whatever. Uh, anyway, that's all. The, that's all the notes I. Have. That's all yeah. the notes I have too. How about you, Madison? You got any more? Uh, yeah, I'm good. All right, so let's go ahead and get into the our reviews. Let's go, Lesbert. Uh, let's start with Madison again. We'll just go around the table again. <laughs> I'm her favorite all around. Yeah, she is my favorite tonight. My review. Mm-hmm. I actually really like this movie, which is weird because I don't usually like alien movies at all. It's not that like I, I don't either. I don't. They're, yeah, I they're don't just, care for alien movies at all. They're normally just boring to me. Um, but this one, it was laid out the right way, I guess. And I really liked the actors, and I liked the idea of it. I guess. Yeah. So I give it a s- 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 seven out of ten. Yeah. Solid. 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 Well, you, yeah. Joseph. Uh, I liked a lot of things about this movie. I think that it was a good, uh, thrilling movie with like, it had a lot of tense moments that I think a lot of, a lot of directors and stuff can't do nowadays because it's so hard to, actually scare people you know what i mean or keep them kind of on their edges of their seat you know like you like you keep your attention yeah it's hard to do that nowadays because people are so you know by the moment by the books you know in their phones lost in their own heads all that stuff so for a film to do that i think is is a feat in itself and it's it's just another notch on on jordan peele's you know headboard like it's I think it, it, he he did a great job here, and I, I think he's going to keep doing a great job. Mm-hmm. Um, so, uh, but I also love the actors. I think, yeah, for sure, Kiki Palmer was my favorite in this whole movie. Um, but I think the uh, the score was good. Uh, the concept was a wild, and honestly, I'm surprised that anybody was able to pull it off. Um, Along with even just the design, I would just love to have been in the room when they were when he they was were pitching this. Like, pitching okay, this. so it's about an alien, but the alien um, is the UFO. But the alien, yeah, is like a like a like a rubbery thing, not like what you're used to. But it looks kind of like a, um, <laughs> it's like a sheet, but it's but, like, it looks like a kite or like it, maybe a maybe a hot air see, balloon. But it being a kite was going to crack me up because of how it yeah, had but then it's going to look like a kite out, out the bottom of it. <laughs> I didn't understand. I was like, well, it whatever. had a dingleberry. <laughs> it, it did. It's, it, it looks like a kite, but it'll get killed by a balloon. Are you in? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck it, Jordan Peele, throw money at him. Yeah. <laughs> he Let's can do, do it. it. I know he can he do can it. Do it. <laughs> Fuck it. Let's see what he can do. If he fails, then, well, then we won't give him any more money. <laughs> um, but yeah, so uh, I'm gonna. I'll give it a seven and a half, seven point five out of ten. I think it's a good movie, and I think it's the best of his three, and all three of them are good. But this is definitely the best one. It's my favorite. And uh, yeah, I think a seven and a half yeah, is, is well deserved. Okay. How about you, Eric? With your like, Man, three? I was like going to come in here like <laughs> dog shit on the movie because I was, I was not He's thrilled like, by it all. I didn't, it. <laughs> I didn't care for the acting too much and just wasn't on par for me. Um, it did keep me inter- interested with the action. Uh, the action was pretty decent in it. That was mostly like, the pros for me. It was just the action, and I was interested still. Uh, my cons on it was I didn't think there was a very good dialogue for me. It seemed like I said with OJ, it just seemed like he didn't want to be there. And then you had Kiki; she was just a bit much <laughs> for me. I think that was the point. Though. That was I mean, in that, your yin, in your yeah, name, you know? yeah, yeah. Uh, the score was okay. Uh, there was okay. some of the score was kind of I wasn't into. Then it set the mood for me. Um, could have went away with the monkey plot. It could that was like third of the movie for me. It was like, what's the point of the monkey? What's the point of the show? It's got nothing to do with what's going on right now. Um, 
So I I was going to give it a four and a half, but you guys kind of talked me out of it with you know some. Oh, of the don't things. let us wait. No, no. I was saying, <laughs> with some you, sometimes of the, some you guys do things, though. Like, some, I mean, some we, some we all right. do Holy it. Shit, this yeah, some sense, of the things you guys brought up with how they were acting and stuff. You know, with OJ and Kiki, that kind of drew me out of it. So I kind of came back giving like a six and a half out of ten. Sweet, yeah. a whole two. Point. We all we I all mean, do that though. Like we we'll be watching a movie by ourselves, you know, and then you come in here, and you start talking about, it, you're like, oh yeah, I know that. That's like I mean, okay. that's if I, I watch a movie by I myself and then that, I go and watch it with like a friend and they start laughing, I'm like, I guess it's kind of funny. Where I think maybe we should start getting our scores at the beginning of the show, and then to see if it's changed by the end of the show. Mm. Maybe we could try that. So, but then again, you're going to be given a review and. The, I mean, I don't know. I kind of like our format swayed. now because I do, you can but still... I'm just like just to see if it changes any. But I guess you can always say that at the end, like, "Well, I was going to give it this." But... Yeah, you can always. I mean, yeah. we're honest people. It's not like we're going to be like, "Oh no, I oh, always, no, I, give I it a always like because it. you guys love it too." Yeah. Yeah. Wait, you guys like I mean, one? I'm yeah. honest with mine. <laughs> this is obviously, my favorite part in Caddyshack when he's like, "This is the ugliest hat I've ever seen." Oh, it looks great on you, yeah. though. <laughs> I mean, I'm very honest with mine. Like I said, I was going to give it a four and a half, but you guys kind of talked me out of it. Yeah. Yeah, we so, like. I think we've all had that moment where like oh, this movie sucked, and then you're going. Oh, okay. I guess it wasn't. That I don't know bad. if I've been here long <laughs> right? enough. Maybe, 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 gonna maybe I'm being a dickhead right now. <laughs> yeah, no, he, he never. Was like, he was but like, "This we, is the worst fucking movie I've ever seen." We, ne- we didn't help though, because none of us were like <laughs> really into it at all. No, you know, we were not, all like, kind there of wasn't any it. one of us that was like, "But guys, <laughs> like, I kind of was a little bit." I was like, "Well." And then you guys like this movie sucks dick. I'm like, you're right, it sucks dick. (laughs) I agree with you guys. (laughs) I I mean, it wasn't. I I wouldn't say it was the worst movie I've ever seen. It's just it wasn't good. That's why I said I think I need to rewatch it to feel Uh, different. I think if I watch it again, I'd feel differently about it. I think I need I need a couple months. That's how I am. There's a lot of. uh, (laughs) I'm not ready for that level of commitment. I'm not. I'm not into like the. The body horror kind of stuff, and yeah, that was and, see, I the psychedelic like, I've liked, aspect of. I'm not into the Cronenberg shit. I like some of Cronenberg stuff, like I like The Fly. That was a good movie. Yeah, I I agree with that, but like not just, not that kind of shit. But I'm saying like in this case, it goes to lengths to try to grow. The Fly. You out in I think my problem. I think my problem with movie over. Cronenberg. It's a this big fly. I just. Get a bigger fly swatter. Like Maybe there's find, find, a, find, find like, a different, find a different stick. Why, like, why, why the follow fuck did you jerk him off from behind? I'm like, that's what? not necessary. And why do you have to follow daddy's footsteps? Why do you... That's we're weird. going on to a different movie. I mean, maybe, not, not, yeah, we're maybe, not talking yes, about it. Oh, right, okay, we already did <laughs> this anyway. Subject. We already did this movie. Yeah. It's very psychedelic. Sorry. It just throws you off. That's, yeah, that's just for yeah, me. Yeah, that's another me. thing that I hated. The, fuck, the flashing lights <laughs> and all that shit. Like, come on. Man. Fuck like, out of here. <laughs> we didn't take enough mushrooms for this. That We didn't take enough mushrooms <laughs> for no, that No, because movie. I didn't want to be on a bad trip, dude. Dude, that would oh, be yeah. a terrible trip. That would have been a terrible trip. Fuck. Yeah, because he's tripping. And then you'd be tripping. And then you'd be like. Just no, just the fucking visual aspects when you're sitting there tripping on shrooms and yeah. shit. You see all these fucking like hexagons. Uh, fuck that. <laughs> no, yeah, you might throw have you a seizure off. if you have all them flashing lights. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you so say, oh, Karen, what's your score? my my score? So, um, I definitely like this a lot better. Nobody this cares. Time. Let's go on to something. <laughs> I actually like this a lot better the second time. Um, I agree. The uh, the things that really made it made it good for me is because number one i hate alien movies just really? as a, i do just as a general rule um you don't like aliens? The same way she don't like alien i don't either. think they're scary um i i think that if it's a comedy you don't like that alien no, yeah that one's no, fine. That no. One, no one behind you behind or the other one, one behind you yeah you don't find that scary that one's fine that but one's i'm saying fine. I'm saying in general, like nowadays and stuff, like they don't make good alien movies anymore. It's mm-hmm. hard to make a good alien movie. Right. And like in general, alien movies aren't scary. They're better as comedy. They've become a joke, yeah. I guess, you know? Like Paul. Yeah. yeah. They, they've become a joke. So like, I don't, they don't, they're not scary. So anytime I see an alien movie and it's supposed to be scary, I almost always just roll my eyes. Like, yeah, okay. You don't um, think Mars Attacks is scary? That one's terrifying. <laughs> that is terrifying. There are some parts of that movie. Yeah, it makes you like, oh, yeah. fuck. They got really got to roll When they first the pull out they? those fucking guns and start yeah. shooting everybody, they start turning into colored yeah, skeletons. You're like, oh, shit. 
Or the part where Pierce Brosnan and what's her face? Oh yeah, and they get the heads. dog. Yeah, the dog. Or, yeah, yeah. the dog. dog. Yeah, I'm like, oh, God, damn, that. that sucks. Yeah, no shit. Um, so that's score one for me because like if you can make an alien movie make it scary to me and it's not that one, yeah, then yeah, I'm I'm game. And then um and but what scary is scary you know is like we talked about the eight, you know the people getting sucked in and being digested and still screaming and. Yeah, imagine being shit. alive through that. That's what I'm saying. They're still the alive, like, first, and they know yeah. what's happening. Like that's terrifying. Right? Imagine the pain they're going through. The yes. I mean, just, just just dissolving your. Well, we don't know. We don't know. There. Is it? A, like, yeah. Is it acidic? Is it? Is it? Or is it just they're being chopped up into little pieces? We don't know. It, we like, don't know. I'd imagine it's acidic. It would have we to don't, be. I, yeah, I'm something. something, but anyway, um. So that, um, Maybe I like they're not being eaten. Maybe they're just being transported to another dimension where it's like sunshine, rainbows, like sunny beaches, and unicorns. They gotta go the through blood. a lot of pain to get thing. there. Where'd They're all saying. the blood come from? Maybe it's just, it's own blood, or maybe it's just food color. It's you don't know it's blood. They never <laughs> confirmed that it was blood. It's on its menstrual period. <laughs> <laughs> it's that time of the month. Leave him alone, dude. <laughs> he wasn't. He was gonna shed it on the house. Was eating people was because he was just menstruating. He, he, he or she. I, 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 I love how you keep saying he. <laughs> he, like, he, he well, alien, nowadays you don't, you, know. you don't know. You have kids. You know it's how this alien. works. Was, who are you to assume it's gender? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> if it's menstruating, I'm gonna yeah. assume the gender. Yeah. <laughs> um. Oh, yeah. So score. Kind of talked about that a little bit. Um. Specifically, that scene where he's on the horse. It kind of. Change the change the whole movie for a second, so that's kind of interesting to me. So I'm actually in agreement with Joseph. I'm going to go with a seven point five, and that's my review. I'm the Debbie that's Downer a, on this one this this week. It's a pretty close score though between all of us. Mm-hmm. Six point five seven, and then two seven point fives. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you okay. guys talked me out of it. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. If we I mean, keep talking about me. He'll bump it on up a couple. Of yeah. <laughs> we'll come back to it. Like, all think, right, it's an eight. I don't <laughs> think you guys can bring it up any more than that. <laughs> All right, so uh, let's get into Rotten Tomatoes. Um, oh, shit, I've about seen it. I had to turn away. Yeah, don't do that. So, <laughs> well, don't um, show me your phone, Karen. What do Piece we shit. think <laughs> the critics gave it? Oh, oh, oh fight, man. fight. Sorry. I'm going to take... I think that the critics love this movie. Probably 80, 83. Ooh. See, you're, you're getting cutting in close Ooh, with me, buddy. man. <laughs> I'm going to go higher, though. I'm going to go... Go $1 me. No, I'm going to go 86. So you eat three point me. I'm gonna go 79. He cheated. 83. How the fuck did I cheat? I did not see it. <laughs> Are you? I, did, I swear to God, I did not see it. I, I had this in my mind. I the whole swear time. to God. 86. It's in the 80s. I know. I see. I seen the whiteness. That's it. I did not see the number. I <laughs> swear to God. It's the audience score, Eric. Uh, I'm going to say audience score is going to be a 74. See, I think it's going to be lower than the, the critics. critics. That's why I went with 74. I'm going to go... If I'm dead on with this, I give I'm going, up. You know what? Fuck you, Eric. <laughs> I'm, I'm going... Uh, One dollar me I'm this going time. 80. No, I'm going to go 80. I'm going 80. I was going to say that. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Who's stealing numbers now, Jason? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going... I guess 79. Damn it. How can you... <laughs> Eric wins again. What the fuck? <laughs> it's 69. Oh. I was oh. going to say that, too. I didn't think too. it should be that much lower. That number me. haunts me. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it haunted me. <laughs> Stop. Okay. So. Position-wise, oh, though, I'm great, great audience, with that. But, audience oh. consensus, too. We ever Sometimes I do, yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, so the critics' consensus is admirable for its originality and ambition, even when its reach exceeds its grasp. Nope, adds Spielbergian. Is that a word? I think they're adding. They, no, they, I've heard them. I've heard people use that word before. Man, they're making up words too. Nope. <laughs> well, adds, you ever heard the word used to say Cronenbergian? Or yeah, Cronenberg? I get it. Nope, adds Spielbergian spectacle to Jordan Peele's growing arsenal. I heard a new word last night. Zach taught me. Tornadic. 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 What? Tornadic activity. That's what he said. I was like, tornadic. Is that a, that's a fucking word? He's like, yeah, tornadic. You've never heard that? I was like, no, but I'm going to use it all the time now. Right. It sounds awesome as shit. Like, shit's about, about to get tornadic in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> all 
All right, first one star. This movie is at least an hour too long. There are a few cute original ideas here, but not nearly enough to make this train wreck worth only... sitting through. Well, so if How they would have got rid of the monkey plot, then his hour too long would be perfect. Well, the funny thing is, is like, he actually, <laughs> I, 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 I was nice because this is actually how it reads. This movie is at least a hour too long. There are a few cute original ideas here, but not enough to make this train rack train rack <laughs> with sitting through. I like his with sitting through. Oh. With, with sitting through. I, I was like nice it. the first time I read it. I like but it. But since he's gonna check be your dick. spelling. I like Dude. it. Dude. What? I, I said I like it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. This one is going to be one of our favorites just because we all know why. This movie sucks from start to finish. Oh. But why? Well, it's funny that he says sucks because that's exactly what the alien did. Fair enough. A lot of, <laughs> so, lot of, lot of sucking I, I think going he liked on it. in this movie. I think he's saying he liked it. Oh. How many stars did he give? One. one. Oh, yeah. He liked Maybe it, it doesn't suck enough then. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's that that happens from time to time. <laughs> this one, one this stars. one's funny because he gave him he gave it two stars, but this was the rating. I hated this movie more than any movie I've ever seen. Detestable. Man. One Detestable. star or two two stars. Why two stars? Two stars. So the worst movie you've ever seen still has two stars. Mm -hmm. So oh, okay, movie lover, I guess. All right, this yeah. is gonna be the last one I, I read because it's kind of long. Yeah, what do you think? I know that's what I'm star? saying. Like, why wouldn't it be a one star? That's yeah. why I read it because it was a two star, but he said it was the worst movie he'd ever seen. It says Kung Pao. <laughs> Imagine when oh, these people get Josh? on here. No, and I'm going to read this one too. This one's a three star from Eric. Eric D. Yes. Oh, Eric D. That's Peel's you, best movie yet. And it's a three? Yeah. <laughs> and then what did you give it? I gave it a three, apparently. <laughs> I gave it the good old Eric D. Three star. <laughs> well, it says Peel's best movie yet, but that's not saying much. As usual, one of the worst innings I've ever seen. Which is funny because I used to have to sign my, like, when I built furniture for work, I always have to inspect it by Eric D. And I had a buddy of mine that if there was something wrong with my, my furniture, he'd scream. He's like, Eric D. <laughs> <laughs> Did you fuck it up on purpose? Because I sometimes, would love to hear that all the sometimes. time. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, this is gonna be the last one. The best uh, part is like his his wife was uh, was pregnant. She was in there, and uh, I wanted to give her one of those inspected stickers and tell her to put her on her stomach. So when he got home, <laughs> he'd see the air inspected by her. D. <laughs> Eric D. I stuck a flashlight up there. Good to go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> This is a half star. This I'll train wreck is so one. awful that at this point, I'm convinced Jordan Peele is making these films intentionally bad and laughing at how stupid oh. people are for continuing to watch. Flying saucer monster that turns into hybrid parachute jellyfish with square green <laughs> flapping vagina. Who oh. doesn't, <laughs> doesn't Wait, like... what? <laughs> oh my God. What? <laughs> All I got was a flapping his... vagina. I it was on its menstrual cycle. Oh, hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I got flapping vagina. We, we go back. Flying saucer monster that turns into hybrid parachute jellyfish with square green flapping vagina <laughs> who doesn't like plastic and won't eat you if you don't look it in the eye. It doesn't have... <laughs> it doesn't, it's the wandering eye. It doesn't... <laughs> Have combined with murderous champ chimpanzee subplot Whisper, with zero whispering bearing. Whispering eye, sorry, whispering eye. With zero bearing on the non-existent main plot, topped off with the required annoying minority lesbian who naturally heroically saves the day with floating helium-filled oversized cat. I want to know she who this guy is. She was a lesbian. Yeah, she was. I want to know who oh. this guy is so we can invite him on the this show. Guy, this guy's. This awesome. guy explained every reason why he hated this movie <laughs> in in flamboyant detail. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, like him. And the fact that she was a lesbian paid no significance to the. I like. No, and I, he, like it. I mean, honestly, didn't have to bring it up. Yeah, like, like it wasn't even. Honestly, a thing. I I forgot. I didn't she was even a know until she said she, she was didn't her even therapist. bring it up. She never made mention. She never. It was never even a thing. She did. Oh yeah, yeah, she did bring it up. Well, I know, but they wasn't a thing. Yeah, it though. wasn't like, a they, thing. Yeah, I didn't even catch it. She I was just know. except for the part where they're walking to that store, and she's like, "Hey, 
you look pretty. Yeah. yeah. He's like, what? And she's like, what? It looks like she has a she. She looks like she has a big house. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I mean, that's it. Like that's it. That's literally yeah. all it. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I want to know who that person is because I want them. That that was a great review. Like, yeah, dude, I, I don't <laughs> care. I like the movie, but that was that was amazing. That was, that was, that was, that was good. I that was, will give that you that. Quality. It's quality, quality reviewing. That's why we do this? Yes. Flapping vagina. Flapping green vagina who won't Flapping eat plastic. Flapping green vagina. Yeah. Sweet ass trivia with Karen. All right, so All right. I guess that means we're at trivia now. Yeah, Karen, what's the trivia? I don't have it. <laughs> okay. All right, so the trivia Joseph, for this week. Trivia. Yeah, Joseph, uh, did you, you get trivia this week? Uh, sure. Okay. <laughs> Let's get into it. A uh, very early clip. Jordan Peele the... directed this. That's all I got. <laughs> Good job. <laughs> Sweet. That's the, it. New show. <laughs> the very early clip of a jockey riding a horse, which Emerald claims features her and OJ's ancestor, is a real 1878 animated series of photo- photographs. One of the first moving images ever, which has come to be called Sally Gardner at a Gallop. Sally Gardner is the name of the horse. The two jockeys were listed as being named C. Marvin and G. Dom. Neither of their identities are known, although they very well could have been black, as Emerald claims. In those days, many jockeys were black, such as 13 of the 15 jockeys racing at the first Kentucky Derby in 1875. Steven Yoon's character, Jupe, has a large pair of metal scissors on his desk, which are the same scissors prominently featured in Jordan Peele's previous film, Us. Jordan Peele cites King Kong, Jurassic Park, Close Encounters of the Third Kind, Signs, and The Wizard of Oz as influences on the film. He considers these films as examples of addiction to spectacle, a major theme in the film. The quote seen at the beginning of the film is from the book of Nah. Nahum in the Bible's Old Testament. In it, the prophet Nahum tells the story of the city of Nin- I can't say these na- Nineveh and how it was marked for destruction by God in forty days because of the wickedness of its people. God promises to make spectacles of them, just as they made spectacles of their own sin, until Jonah convinces them to repent. The movie, as described by the cast and crew draws many parallels from this verse and story, especially in the way it handles its own themes of spectacle, the lengths people will go to hoping to take advantage of it and the consequences thereof. The treatment of Gordy and his eventual rampage, Ricky's attempt to recreate, to create a bond with the alien with no regard to its malevolent malevolent nature. The deaths of the TMZ cameraman and Antler's host even as Richard Newby of The Hollywood Reporter points out, the curiosity of real-life moviegoers and their inability to turn away from the screen are all being cited as prime examples of how these themes are revealed throughout the film to a frightening effect. They really went depth with this one. That's why I wrote it down, because I, I found that very <clears throat> fascinating, because it does explain a lot. It does, yeah. It's all about the spectacle, man. It's too much in depth. Not being able to look. Well, you away. want to know why Gordy was in the movie? There you go. Take James. Yeah, take, they don't take need Avatar: it. The Way of Water, for example. Pure spectacle. They don't need Gordy. Away. Gordy could have been taken away. That thing could have sucked me into the TV and ate me, dude. Avatar. <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to get eaten by the green vagina. <laughs> Nobody wants well, to get eaten by a green vagina. Aren't green. <laughs> it's like watching blue waffle. <laughs> 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 The green waffle, that's what it had been. Uh. <laughs> oh, God, dude. Sorry, guys. When Jupe is first describing the Gordy attack, he tells OJ and Emerald that it lasted 6 minutes and 13 seconds. Later, when doing the show at the Star Lasso Experience, he said he first saw the alien 6 months ago at 6.13 p.m. After seeing this film, a fan on Twitter proclaimed Jordan Peele the greatest horror director of all time. Peele responded, I love your enthusiasm, but I will not. I will just not tolerate any John Carpenter slander. <laughs> Keith David starred in two of John Carpenter's best-loved alien films, The Thing and They Live, and appears in this film as O.J. and Emerald's father. Jordan Peele chose Nope as the title because he wanted to acknowledge movie audiences and their expected reactions to the film. He added that the film is a ride. The title speaks to the idea of the audience reacting to what they're thinking and feeling in the theater. Despite being prominently featured, Fry's Electronics closed all of its locations on February 24th, 2021. Prior to the film's production, the film shot in Burbank, California's location and recreated the interior. As Fry's Electronics co-founder Randy Fry was closing down and dismantling the chain, he had turned down multiple, multiple media requests about the chain. 
But he made an exception when a production manager from Jordan Peele's Monkey Paw Productions reached out, reached out via email about using the remaining Burbank location. Fry grew up a fan of 1950s science fiction alien films like The Day the Earth Stood Still and The Earth vs. the Flying Saucers, even crediting those movies with influencing the, the thematic decor of the Burbank location. Fry made sure to keep the store intact with the shelving and themed items while the production team supplied the location with cash registers, signage, and merchandise. At the end of the planning session, Antlers recites the first verse of the 1958 single The Purple People Eater by actor and country singer uh, Sheb Woolley. Woolley is often believed to be the actor that originally recorded the famous Wilhelm scream. I put that in there because I thought that was neat. <laughs> When Ricky Stephen Yun states that in one hour you will leave here having witnessed a spectacle, there is exactly one hour until the film's end credits. At the beginning of the movie, the ape Gordy is set off by a balloon popping on the television set. At the end of the movie, the creature dubbed Jean Jacket is blown up by a balloon of jube, jube, pop, jube popping. After Gordy exits his rampage, he signs to young Ricky what happened family. While Jordan Peele did not explain the significance of the deadly chimpanzee attack, chimpanzee attack witnessed by Jupe as a child, according to an analysis published by Variety, it is meant to show that you can't tame a predator, and mankind will risk everything for a spectacle. Jupe exploited the Gordy's home massacre for profit, and similar, similarly thought he could tame the creature for a show business opportunity. Jupe's survival of the chimpanzee, chimpanzee attack gave him the mistaken impression that he could tame an alpha tame an alpha predator who are often unpredictable. It took several rewrites in order for Brandon Perea to convince Jordan Peele and the Universal Executives to change the character's fate in the film's climax from being killed by Jean Jacket to surviving the entire ordeal. At the beginning of the movie, Bonnie Clayton asks, what's the name of the horse? Upon finding out that it's Lucky, she asks, well, is he? Lucky survives the events of the movie, including the Star Lasso experience. I noticed that. Yeah, I did too. After already capturing footage of the creature, Antlers calls the lights magic and leaves the safety of his tent to film the creature with his handheld camera. By magic, he means the magic hour, sometimes referred interchangeably with the similar golden hour. That occurs before a sunset or just after a sunrise. The lighting conditions are ideal. There are no cast shadows and the colors captured are warm. For an artist like Antlers, ca Antlers capturing an impossible shot of the creature under these conditions would have just been worth risking his life for. So that's their explanation for his arc. I still think it's stupid. Yeah, yeah, a little bit. Antlers Holst tells Emerald, this dream you're chasing, the one where you end up at the top of the mountain, all eyes on you, it's the dream you never wake up from. Which is weird for him to say that since he's the one that never wakes up. Dumb fuck. He never <laughs> wakes up? Antlers. R right. Yeah. yeah. This mirror is Because he death. died. Yeah. He died. Yeah. yeah. Let's, got, let's wait, get that clear. That. Or that. my explanation Another dimension, beaches, rainbows. Unicorns. He just went to sleep. Well, like, yeah, like the, it mirrors. His, <laughs> like, it's stupid because this mirrors his death as he literally ends up at the top of a mountain with all eyes on him before being swallowed. Midway through the movie, OJ Emerald and Angel dine at Copper Pot's Cave. The fictional restaurant also featured an us and is named after. Anyone want to guess? What was it? Wait, hold on. Copper what? Pot's Cove. You gave me the answer like before David I figured Cop out the or, question. Uh, like, is it, uh, God damn it. Wait, what? Copper pot? Copper pot. Uh, it'd what? be. David Copper pot. No, it'd be, um, Copper pot. Fucking. Wait, no. I'm thinking of. I don't know. What do you. Chester Copper pot. Yeah. Yeah. The treasure hunter who's met Mikey and the gang followed to yeah. the treasure of oh, Willie and the Goonies. And Goonies yeah. 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 Okay, that's what I thought. I wasn't sure. I was like, Am I linking this to the Goonies or? Yeah. See, that's what I'm saying. Like, I think it, that his character was based off of that boy who played. He might. Yeah. Uh, it's not such a far stretch. Yeah. yeah. So, it could be. I don't know. In the final act of the movie, Emerald Haywood performs a sliding stop on a motorcycle that mirrors the iconic slide from Akira. Jordan Peele listed Akira as one of his favorite films of all time and was given an offer to direct the live action version of Akira, but turned it down. But the bike drift is not the only reference to the movie Akira. The scene of the spect spectators crushed inside the creature mirrors uh, Kyori's very no. graphic death. Death. Has everybody seen that movie? Akira. You made me watch no. it, and then you fell you asleep. Never seen Akira. I don't think so. I've seen it several times though. Yeah, you never but seen it? I don't think so. They what? call it the king of anime. It's a it's a movie. 
It's about an hour and a half long. I might have. It's a good horror. It's horror, but it's it's pretty fucking wild. It's a wild, wild movie. I might have. I mean, it sounds familiar, but I'm not. Yeah. I'm not, not reading it. If you haven't seen right it, now. I would suggest checking it out. I can't imagine that a live action movie is going to do very well. I like some good horror anime. Stuff. No, re- nobody has made a good like remake anime right. yet. The distinctive, not quite disc shape of Jean Jacket is near perfect match for the sketches made by pilot Kenneth Arnold in reporting his influential 1947 UFO sighting, which first popularized the term flying saucer and which is often called the first UFO sighting. In the final act of the movie, Angel ties barbed wire around his waist. The sound produced by the barbed wire snapping during Jean Jacket's attempt to swallow it resembles that of the the sound played by the alien ship in Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Mm. That's it. Well, how next about week. that? Next week. Here you go. Sugar, sugar. You get to pick. You do the honors of opening it? No, I don't. No, oh, you okay. finish it yourself. <laughs> yeah. Take a good one. Mix it up. Yeah. Get your hand out of my box. <laughs> Moving around rapidly like do, that. Do the, the two fingers. Nobody? Oh, Sin City. I don't know. What that I just is. added that one too. Yeah, that's Sin City. Sin City, baby. Hey, it's All been right. a while since I've seen it that. Is. Yeah. All right, so next week is Sin City. Sin City from. I don't even know what year that was. Uh, uh, it was early 2000. 2000. Long was it? Fucking time Four, ago. 2005, something like that. Doesn't seem like it should have been that long ago. Right. Because we're old. I know. Right. When did that happen? When did what? that happen? I don't know. You guys are old. I'm not old. Okay. This is before Madison was born. All right, so next week we will be watching Sin, Sin City. City from 2005. Oh. 2005. So. Welcome to Sin City. This is a town. The t- this town beckons the tough, the corrupt, and the brokenhearted. Some call it dark, hard-boiled. Then there are those who call it home. Crooked cops, sexy dames, desperate vigilantes. Some are seeking revenge, others lust after redemption, and then there are those hoping for a little bit of both. A universe of unlikely and reluctant heroes still trying to do the right thing in a city that refuses to care. It is on HBO Max, Hulu, Amazon Prime. Yep. I'm fairly sure I own it. I do not own this movie. I think I used to. Well... Now we know where it's streaming. Yeah. So. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have it. Uh, I don't think it's on each. It's on not on Amazon Prime. Is That's it? what I said. It's at Amazon Prime. All where zones? are you looking up this stuff? I literally typed in Sin City, Sin City oh. Streaming. It said HBO yeah, Prime. Yeah, they watch it. Hulu. You can rent it. There. And Amazon Prime. You can it's rent a premium it subscription. Premium subscription and subscription. No, mine just says uh, HBO Max. And if you have Cinemax. So where's what? Little get the watch app. Get the watch app. What? Why? Because I just do Google. It shows everything, man. But Google's not always right. Yeah, Google's not always right. Well, I have all three, so I can watch it on any. So, uh, next week will be Sin City. Yep. This has been a short one. Yeah. About 20 minutes early. It's good. It's all good. right, guys. Break out the Twister game. we got to extend it. <laughs> really? <laughs> I, right. I usually keep us on our win. our shirts off. No, never mind. Yeah, I don't see, want to play. All right, now outro. We'll make anyway, remember to. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so yeah, check us out next week for Sin City. Um, remember to find Eric us. will be hosting. Yeah, Eric will be hosting. <laughs> Sorry. I'll try yeah. my best. <laughs> yeah. Remember to find us on TikTok, Twitter, Facebook, uh, YouTube, Instagram, Tumblr. The Bonsai Movie Crew. Yeah. Find us. All the good stuff. And email us. Like, comment, yeah. subscribe, let it, let us know. share with Our your friends. Let us know what you think. Email us if Talk you're shy. Talk to people. Acknowledge us. Talk some Witness shit. Me. <laughs> Talk some shit. I mean, uh, I don't know these people. We're we're fine with whatever you want to say, I guess. But right. um, yeah, I'm not. But okay. <laughs> I, he's sensitive. Um, we're yeah, sensitive. I'm sensitive too. I'm really not. You can say whatever you want. Out there. I am. Not whenever it comes to family. Usually, I just like to give shit back. <laughs> I just it's funner that way. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Yeah, so that's it. I, I got nothing else shit. unless anybody else has anything. No, Dad's microphone is on fire. It is on fire. Oh shit.
Dude, you should probably put that out. Sorry. It's for real. Go get the fire extinguisher. No, what are you doing? Up. Let's right. touch it. Dad. Okay, <laughs> bye. 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 Oh, God. What moaning? <laughs> <laughs>